All right, here he is, the UFC middleweight king, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker. Back-to-back -back wins over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whitaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fights, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whitaker, which allows you to recover because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in Yoel yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special. He has certainly been every bit that. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well why would you not expect it right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do from becoming an Olympic gold medalist to becoming the heavyweight world champion to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the ufc he's gonna have to mix everything up sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world felt like this was the next professional challenge perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for muhammad ali gracing the octagon here tonight muhammad ali we are set for a main event of the evening our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Champion of the world, Muhammad Ali! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go with the former UFC middleweight champion, Robert Whitaker. How good is this guy? This is the guy that DC plays with more than any other fighter in EA Sports UFC 5. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Back. Great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not going to be intimidated by any other 185 pounder in the world. Yeah, left hook found its target. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice combination by the chair. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense, and I watched for him to try to set it up again here. Oh, nice kick. Hook connects flush. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 
Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh, and there's that hook again, but this time the opponent was ready. Nice job to get in the way. Just over two minutes, round one. so easy on the feet. It's because of his demeanor. It's everything about the Reaper that makes you think he's having a good time, but also not giving you that much energy. He's got that real easy type of vibe with him whenever you come in contact with Robert. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. As he presses forward with the right hand. Oh, he is hurting for certain. His nose is bleeding now. Oh, another one. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here, that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he fight. does have the ability to Ready. damage it. Go. Second round underway. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Whitaker. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be. Oh, a, shot there. He is a big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. This is a terrible position. Scramble it, go! Scramble it! All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Whitaker's back in full mount. Making all these shots count. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's having his way with him here. Whitaker's in half goal. Ground and pound strike there now. Yep, gotta be very careful there. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. right back to the full mount here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. A minute to go. We'll see what he does here. He ushers up and lands to the head. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Take a deep breath. And now he's got the back. Unicus is able to flatten him out. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here.
big round of oh. Ten minutes oh. in the books. Oh. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn. Two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's going to be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot, be confident in knowing that eventually the finish is going to come. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For yeah, you. where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. And he connects there. Oh, shot to the body, connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Ali. Left hook to the head. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but. He's hurt. Unable to land with that punch. And back to his feet. Nice jab by Ali. Absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.